This is a Haybuster C drill. This is the 107C model. We will begin by briefly describing how this drill functions before moving on to calibration. This drill is operated by hydraulic lines that connect to your tractor. You also need to disengage the tow lock prior to use and re-engage when returning the drill. The tow lock consists of these red bars pictured in the center of the video and may be manipulated by using a simple pin. This seed drill has a small drive wheel located in the front of the drill. As this wheel turns, seed is released. The Haybuster 107C drill uses a coulter disc offset opener. The coulter blade leads the disc by one and a half inches. This design creates a scissor-like action that aids in cutting through residue at ground level. The press wheel sits behind the disc and coulter and serves to firm up the ground as seed is planted. The press wheel also serves to gauge seed depth. To measure seed depth or planting depth, use a ruler and measure how far the disc is cutting into the ground. If seed is too deep, lower the press wheel. If seed is too shallow, raise the press wheel. To adjust the press wheel height, remove the quick attachment pin to lower the press wheel, relocate the shim washers from the top to the bottom. To raise the press wheel, relocate shim washers from bottom to top. Seeding depth for many grass species, such as fescue and ryegrass, is about half an inch. For other species, such as cool season small grains, like cereal rye, wheat, and oats, the planting depth recommendation is about an inch and a half. It is important to raise the discs when making sharp turns in the field or when backing up the drill. The Haybuster 107C drill has three seed boxes or bins, one small box in the front followed by two larger boxes. The two larger boxes are for medium to large seed, while the smaller box is for smaller seed. Each box contains a chart underneath the lid listing the forage species for which it was designed. Each of the larger boxes has a clean-out slide. This can be used to completely empty out the boxes. Prior to planting, be sure that this is closed by pushing this L-shaped handle. Prior to planting, inspect each seed tube and ensure that there are no obstructions. Examples of obstructions include seed clogs, dirt dauber nests, spider nests, etc. Here is an example of an obstructed tube we found while inspecting this drill. An air compressor is a useful tool to aid in cleaning out these tubes. Here, this rag just helps provide a seal to improve the effectiveness of the air compressor. Add the seed to the seed box as you prepare to plant. Remember to ensure that the cleanout slides are closed prior to putting seed in the box. Use the chart located under the seed box lid to obtain the correct pointer setting for the forage that you desire to plant. For example, if we desire to plant fescue at 23 pounds per acre, we need to set the pointer to 8. Next, adjust your pointer to the desired setting, which in this example is 8. 
To ensure the accuracy of this setting, we will now calibrate this drill and estimate how many pounds per acre of fescue seed is actually being planted. As part of our calibration, we will need to turn this set wheel 20 times. To help count those revolutions, we will mark the set wheel with a piece of duct tape. We also need to know the circumference of our set wheel and we'll determine this using a measuring tape. Starting at a foot, we're at six feet and three inches. We need to subtract a foot for the tail of this measuring tape, which puts us at five feet, three inches for the circumference of this tire. For the next step, ensure that there is seed in the seed box. Next, we'll turn the drive wheel 20 times and collect the seed as it falls through the tubes. Use a plastic or styrofoam cup to collect the seed as the wheel is turned. The following calculations will allow us to estimate the grams of seed we need to catch per row to equal 23 pounds of seed planted per acre. For step one, we will take the circumference of the tire in feet, multiply by the row spacing in feet, then multiply by the number of wheel turns, which is 20. For step two, we use the answer we got in step one, multiply by the pounds of seed desired per acre, which is 23 for this example, then divide by 43,560, that's square feet in an acre, and that will give us our pounds of seed to catch per row. The answer for step two will be in decimal form. So to make it more easy and convenient to use, we will multiply by 454. There are 454 grams in a pound, and this will tell us how many grams of seed we need to catch to equal 23 pounds per acre. Now we'll take the numbers from our calculations and plug them into these formulas. The drive wheel had a circumference of five feet, three inches, which equals 5.25 feet. The row spacing is seven inches. Divide that by 12 inches per foot and we get 0 0.583 feet. To calculate 5.2 feet, our wheel circumference 0 0.583 feet, our row width, multiplied by 20 turns. And that gives us 61.2 square feet. This is our test area, 61.2 square feet, and is the answer to step one. For step two, take the answer from step one, 61.2 square feet, multiply by the pounds of seed we desire to plant per acre, which is 23 pounds, then divide by 43,560 square feet per acre. That tells us we need to catch 0 0.032 pounds of seed per acre. This is the answer to step two, but this number isn't very easy to use, so we'll convert it to grams in step three by multiplying by 454, that's 454 grams per pound, and that tells us we need to catch 14.7 grams of seed per row to equal 23 pounds of seed per acre. When checking the weight of the seed caught, remember to set the scale to grams and tear the scale with an empty cup. The samples from our first test averaged about 18.3 grams, which was a little bit on the heavy side. So we dialed the pointer back to a setting of about seven and a half.
After making this adjustment, we collected samples that weighed an average of about 13 grams. This is a little light compared to our target weight of about 15 grams if we want to plant 23 pounds per acre. But this is the basic idea. If you want to dial it in even further, just adjust the pointer setting until you reach your desired calculated target weight.